guys welcome back to my channel so this piece I found for seven dollars it's going to be used for storage and as a uh, charging station for my phone so the first thing I did as always was I used clean slate to clean it so what I have done is I've used some Bondo to fill in all the places that I didn't want like the groove that was in the front I wanted a smooth surface so I filled it in with Bondo the edge that was all chewed up I filled that in with Bondo the back that was um, a mess I filled that in with Bondo also so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry Bondo dries very quickly and it is very strong so that's why I like to use it and it sands, it sands down very nicely. So I'm not worried about it being, you know, all clumped up over here and stuff. I'm not worried about anything being bumpy because I know that the Bondo, you're able to sand it down very nice and smoothly. And especially since I already have that electric sander. So um, that's the step right now. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to sand. Okay, so guys, so I use the electric sander to sand down all of the Bondo. I didn't need to make it uh, completely smooth because I already knew I was putting on two coats of the Venetian plaster and it really wouldn't, you know, it really wouldn't matter. So I didn't have to, you know, work too hard. So I sanded everything and uh, then wiped off all of the dust. Okay, so now I am applying two coats of a custom mix that I made. It is Lux Gray and uh, Windsor, Amy Howard One Step Paint. And so I put on two coats uh, outside and inside, and I also primed the inside of this piece to prepare it for the Venetian plaster. All right, welcome back. So, I have taped off every I, every place that I want to tape off. Some of them I got to go back and, you know, tape a little bit more. But, um, I did the test of what I wanted to do for this piece. And uh, it was all right. It wasn't great. It didn't feel like exactly what I wanted. But what I'm going to do this time, this piece is for me. It's not for sale. So I'm going to move forward with the plan that I had to do Venetian plaster. And that's why everything is taped off. I want to do Venetian plaster doors, the tops, and the sides. And then um, I'm going to just leave it at that. For Here I'm mixing up um, my linen apron and Venetian plaster and then I'll be mixing up Nor white and Venetian plaster also all of those are uh, milk paints hey guys what's up okay so what we're doing right now is I'm gonna show you I'm gonna walk you through um, how to apply the Venetian plaster I have done this on a table before but I've never uh, done it with this many um, you know like on a whole whole cabinet so this is the Venetian plaster that I made it is not um it hasn't sat overnight but as you can see it's much thicker than it was before it sat for maybe a, about an hour I like to let it sit to um, make sure everything dissolves and it just gets to a thicker consistent consistency okay so we're gonna move on so the only other things you will need is a metal um, knife <laughs> and a cloth to clean your rag when you're finished. So I'm just going to go ahead on and start. As I said, um, this is new. We're just going to try it. Here we go. This, oh, the color that I'm using is the um, My Linen Apron Milk Paint Amy Howard. Uh, and uh, Venetian plaster. I use three uh, teaspoons, maybe four teaspoons of the plaster, and maybe four, three tea, three and a half teaspoons of the paint. And it's still a little runny now that you've moved it. You know, it's a little runny, but it should be okay. We're gonna roll with it because we gotta move on. 
So just take a little and here we go. Uh -oh. So I'm just going to keep doing this, just going down on it. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> keep, uh, I, I kind of want to keep it in one direction. I'm all I'm gonna go back and kind of clean it up, but I don't want too much of the color. You know, I don't want it solid white. So we're just gonna keep going. Now I'm going to be doing two coats, I believe. I believe I'm going to be doing two coats. So I don't really have to um, varnish this coat because I am um, going back with another coat on top. And I also need to clean off my um, my uh, spatula. And that's why you clean it off so you don't get lines and other texture. I'm fine with any texture that I get. I kind of like texture. To me, it just seems more um, interesting. I like it. I didn't expect to like it. Like I said, I did the um, I did the other one, and it's all right. I just didn't really care for it. Okay. Okay. So I said I would come back, and I'm coming back to show you the top portion. I taped off the edges so I wouldn't get um, stuff in the groove here because I want to do a special finish on that part. So, accent. So, here we go. One second. Just make sure you guys in frame. <laughs> okay, here we go. I just kind of love using this Venetian plaster on tops of furniture. It makes it so durable. Seems like it's not going to be durable because if you drop a piece, you know, drop some water on it, it um, it's like it turns back to its original color when it's wet. But just give it a minute and once it dries, it just dries right back. So that's why I like the Venetian plaster. I use this a lot in my business because I love using it so you know it's definitely a product that you should try and try it out see how it works for you and um, yeah that's what I would say now I'm putting a lot on here right now because I'm trying to just make sure everything stays wet so I can go back and pull off any excess that I want I want to make sure it's all fully covered so that's what I'm doing right now.
If you've ever used the Venetian plaster, leave a comment below on what you use it on and how did you like it. As I said, I like it, so I use it a lot. I use it a lot on art, artwork. I really use it a lot on that, so. So we are moving on. Um, give me one second. It looks like the cord has gotten under the cabinet. I don't know how that happened. There we go. Okay. So we are moving on. I have put the first coat on. The top is still uh, pretty much drying. You know. So now we're going to move on to the second color. As I told you before, I don't know how this is going to turn out. It was all right when I looked at it before, but um, we're moving forward. We are moving forward. So this right here is the color Nor, which is the uh, darkest milk paint in Amy Howard. It is plaster and it is two. Uh, so one table, one tea, one tablespoon of Nor. Uh two tablespoons of plaster and two tablespoons of um white milk paint mixed together. So this is what we have. You see it's not really thick. It didn't sit long enough, but we're going to use it anyway. So we're going to just take a little bit of it and I'm just going to go for it. That's where we're going. We're going for it today. Okay, here we go. Now, I actually don't want a ton of gray, I don't think. I don't think I want a ton of gray on here. But what I do notice that I can't just put it at the top. It's looking really heavy up here at the top. gonna dry lighter anyway too so don't be alarmed <laughs> but I also don't want to make it solid I don't want to cover up all of the white underneath it I think the white gives it some dimension so this is a thing where you're just gonna have to keep working it until it's, it's giving you what you want And I kind of like products like that because it gives me freedom to create. It's not like it has to be this certain thing. This is the exact look that you're looking for. It's not that. 
this is, you know, you, you are going to have to work this until it gets to what you think it should look like. I know that I don't want a lot of white. I mean, I don't want a lot of gray. And this gray is going to definitely dry lighter than this. But I, I don't want a lot of, um, I don't want all the white covered up. I can always go back over it though with a uh with some more white. So clean my um tool again and I looked in there I could see that this needed a little bit more so I'm gonna clean my tool again and now I'm gonna varnish it because varnish it because um I want this to be shiny so Okay, guys, so I let it dry. I did put a little bit more on the top. Wasn't quite as shiny as I wanted it, but can you see the shine on the front of it, how it's reflecting the paper on the front of the cabinet? That is what I love about the Venetian plaster. Now, I've never done it on a um, cabinet like this. You know, of course you can do it on the walls, but um, I've, al I've always done it on the top. Um, let me see. Oh, you can see a little shine. Can you see the shine on the top of it right there? See the reflection of the door on the top? That's what I love about the um, Venetian plaster. So I'm going to continue on. Like I said, this uh, the look is definitely not the look that I wanted, but I'm going to roll on with it because it's not a bad look. I love the high gloss of it that makes it look more elegant and not so rustic i would say it looks maybe it, it looks a little bit more elegant to me and not so rustic once you see that it has a high gloss shine on top of it so um from here i am going to um i think i'm gonna do some gold leaf on the accent pieces of the front because that was the original plan and uh yeah so i just wanted to let you see the shininess of the venetian plaster Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so here I am applying the Amy Howard uh, gilding size with a small detail brush because it has um, a beautiful detail at the bottom that I didn't even really realize until I started painting it. But um, I'm going in with the glue and um, the size and... Um, Putting it all down and letting it come to tack with your pinky. You're going to check it to come to tack. And then once it has come to tack, then you use, then you apply your gold leaf. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying a little gold leaf. I will be doing it at um, on the base of this piece and at the top. I was going to do around the trim, but I didn't like it. I like that other detail that's at the top of the piece. So... Um, that's what I did. I did the two pieces of uh, detail at the bottom and at the top and a little bit on the sides. And I also um, yielded some hardware. <clears throat> I couldn't find the right hardware that I wanted, but I found the one that was small enough, but it was the wrong color. So I just gilded that also <laughs> to match the piece and also use a little wax on that too. I also took a little gilding, I mean the gold leaf, and put it on the base, the small little detail at the base of each leg, just to give it a little accent. Okay, so we kind of winding down to the last step. Now I'm going to use some cerusing wax. 
uh, like I said before, it is a white wax. And so I just take a little bit on my brush and then I offload so it won't be too white. And you want to start in the corners also because you don't want to just put a glob of wax right in the middle of your piece. The corners can take more, but you want to make sure you offload it anyway. I have already done a little bit on this side over here. So you can see like you can see the white cerusing wax in the crease over here. And let me see if I can pull you in a little bit more. That's the wrong area. Okay, you can see the white cerusing wax in the crease here. But on this side, you see there's nothing. See how this looks darker compared to this looks a little whiter. So, like I said, I'm not trying to make it white. I'm just trying to make it um, a little lighter so that it fits more with the piece. So, I have my wax on here. I'm putting this over here so I won't get um, wax on my Venetian plaster. You always do wax last. So, I'm going to start here in the corner. more and I have already done this too I went over the gold and I wiped it off with a cloth and then I used a little steel wool very very lightly a little steel wool very lightly so I wouldn't pull the gold off but make sure that it kept the bright shine that I want I'm just trying to push it into the grooves. That's why I'm doing that. And then I'm going to take a little steel wool. And I'm going to do a cross here. Across the top. And just lightly. And this is just pulling it back a little bit. Where you at? Okay. It's just pulling off a little bit of it. I'm not trying to distress anything. Just trying to pull off some of the wax. And then once the wax dries, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to buff it with the steel wool to make sure everything is nice and shiny. Okay. That's that. So look at the shine on this piece. It came out beautifully. Um, I added some gold knobs with a little gold leaf to finish off the piece. And the funny thing about this piece, it can go in either one of my rooms, my gray room or my blue room. So um, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more awesome videos on Venetian plaster. This is Zeta.